Hello everyone. It is about 2 p.m. Thursday, February the 11th, 2016, and this is DelrayVAWeather.com. Uh, we're going to do a, a, a update uh, for uh, the uh, Monday, Tuesday uh, uh, winter uh, storm, and uh, this, this is the latest uh, European uh, model run. It's the 12Z, uh, and I have it set for uh, 7 p.m. Uh, uh, Tuesday the uh, 16th. Uh, DC Alexandria is right here. And what this is showing uh, as of this run is uh, really somewhere between a trace to uh, uh, one inch uh, by that time. Uh, but uh, it, the weather is going to be a little more complicated than just snow. And in all likelihood is going to be a winter mix which probably will include a combination of, um, of wet snow, rain, and freezing rain. Um, I, wanted, I do want to show you a comparison with just uh, like a 12-hour difference, what the, the models were saying. This is, again, the 12Z latest model. And if we go back to the 0Z uh, at uh, midnight, you can see that uh, at midnight it was showing a 5-inch uh, snowfall. So this is a very similar uh, scenario to what we went through uh, in a few days ago where the models really uh, are oscillating back between a fairly significant snow event and um, a not much of a snow event. Okay, let's go on to, this is the 12Z uh, uh, GFS. And um, I, this is also set for uh, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, the 16th. Uh, and this is showing about two, inch, uh, two inches on the ground um, at that time. Um, I, again, there was, there was somewhat of a shift uh, between the, uh, the last um, uh, 12 hours, actually the last six hours with the, the GFS. If we shift here, uh, this is uh, the the same time uh, uh, with the uh, uh, earlier uh, model run, uh, the uh, uh, 6Z. Again, it was showing a really large bullseye just west of us, actually included western uh, Fairfax County uh, uh, in the uh, 9 to 10 inch range and us uh, in the 3 to 4 inch range. So in a matter of six hours, it shifted uh, uh, the uh, bullseye f uh, from from Fairbanks County into central West v Virginia. <clears throat> Again, that shows that the uh, 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 this is probably going to be a low confidence prediction uh, with this uh, these uh, model runs. Okay, let's take a look at uh, again 7 p.m. Uh, Tuesday the 16th. This is the Canadian uh, uh, model. Uh, the latest run is showing about two inches. So it's between all of the models, uh, the latest model runs of all the models, they're fairly consistent, <clears throat> somewhere between a trace uh, to two inches. But the, the fact that the bullseyes are bouncing around and are uh, uh, you know, widely uh, uh, you know, varying uh, between the models uh, says to me that really we still have a pretty uh, uh, low confidence. Okay, I want to show you buff kit. Um, this is the um, uh, 12Z GFS model run, and then we're going to do an o overview here. I want to show you how complicated <laughs> this uh, um, week is uh, out through uh, next Wednesday. Okay, well, this is Friday uh, right here tomorrow. Uh, it is showing uh, the possibility of snow. Uh, let me see what it is. About from sometime after 9 p.m. Uh, tomorrow, it's showing some flakes between 6 a.m. and uh, and tw 12 noon Saturday. Uh, a couple of flakes, maybe even Sunday in the 6 to 9 um, a.m. Uh, range. And then the main event, which uh, is here, it would start somewhere around Monday uh, at midnight. Pretty much all snow Monday all the way through till um, uh, 3 p.m. Monday. And if you look at the blue line here, this is projecting a fairly high um, snow to liquid ratio. 
um, uh, from uh, 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 3 a.m. Monday uh, through um, uh, noon on Monday. We're talking about uh, a snow liquid ratio somewhere between 20 and 15 to 1. But after that, if you notice the blue line drops dramatically and then goes all the way to zero. Uh, and so we're talking about uh, looks like a period of freezing rain Monday. Uh, also, uh, it looks like maybe a, a little more snow about uh, Tuesday midnight. Uh, then after 3 a.m. Uh, Tuesday, it switches to all rain in all likelihood. Um, it, it would be liquid uh, rain with very little freezing. And then the temperature drops um, sometime uh, around midnight Wednesday and then is below freezing with, uh, with some snow showers. So what this is looking like, if, if you believe the um, uh, GFS model, the way, the way it's running, there's going to be some really difficult um, commutes uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, even though the rain totals are probably not, I mean, the snow totals are, are not going to be very great. Uh, but uh, with the uh, uh, a period of rain and then temperatures dropping, uh, it, it's going to get pretty slick. And even, um, you know, we're talking about the um, commute, uh, potentially AM commute Monday is being a problem. Uh, we're also uh, potentially going to have freezing rain late Monday. So we're talking about the PM commute Monday being a problem. Uh, we got um, rain on, um, on Tuesday morning uh, that may or may not freeze because the temp the two meter temperatures probably are going to be above above freezing uh, at least for a, a period of time um, and um, uh, but it's still going to be a messy commute uh, uh, during that period and then we have the the problem that sometime sometime early um, uh, Wednesday morning maybe about 3 a.m uh, the temperature is going to turn turn much colder and uh, uh, then uh, we have a, a problem with the uh, a.m. commute uh, Wednesday so we got you know between Monday through Wednesday uh, it's going to be a difficult commute both a.m. and p.m. Uh, during those days even though we're not going to probably have much uh, much snow but we're going to potentially have uh, more uh, more freezing occurring uh, on the roads Okay, let's switch to this, and I'll show you some other things here. Okay, this is the um, uh, Iowa State Mediagram. I may raise this a little bit so we can see what's going on. And uh, I got, uh, this is all of the models again, uh, uh, with different ways of calculating uh, the snow-liquid ratio. <clears throat> and uh, if you look here, we, got, we have basically have two pulses of snow, one that's going to occur Monday and one that's going to occur um, late uh, Tuesday. But the thing that is more interesting is down here at the bottom. Okay, this is the, a graph of, uh, of potential for freezing rain. And uh, this is showing the freezing rain in the uh, uh, area of, let me get it, 4 a.m on um, on Tuesday morning and um, uh, this ha is showing an accumulation of uh, potentially uh, freeze uh, ice in uh, some around um, uh, uh, 0 0.15 uh, inches uh, um, a little bit more than a tenth of an inch and when you get to that level uh, that's the level where you start having uh, problems on the roads. It, it isn't at the level where you start getting uh, a lot of accumulation on tree branches and power lines to the point that you have power outages. But uh, it definitely indicates that there's a chance of having a pretty significant icing on the roads uh, uh, at that time. And um, there's still an outside chance. I had tweeted out earlier today that there was a possibility we were going to get an ice storm. That's still a possibility here uh, because it looks like it's going to be close to freezing, and it's quite possible that the upper atmosphere won't be in the quite uh, the right configuration to support snow. That it'll be mostly liquid water falling, 
and then freezing on contact um, on the surface. And also because we're going to have a, a fairly long period uh, through, uh, through Monday that is going to be uh, below zero, uh, uh, the ground is going to be pretty cold going into that uh, late Monday uh, and, and Tuesday uh, uh, time frame. So we'll, we'll definitely have the chance of, of having an ice storm out of this, uh, this winter storm. Okay, I'll show you one other thing before I wrap it up, and that is the Next Gen Weather Lab. Uh, I thought, uh, this is kind of instructive to show you what exactly is going to happen here. And if we, um, let me move this up a little bit so I can control it a little bit. Okay, again, uh, DC is right in this area where I'm circling. And if we back this up, let me back this up a little bit to here. Okay, this is early Monday morning, and if you notice, uh, we don't have any precipitation over D.C. at that point, but the uh, the snow rain line is way south. That means we have a lot of uh, Arctic air uh, um, uh, in the area, and if we move this forward a little bit, you're going to see the moisture start moving in. Uh, this is about uh, uh, 4 a.m. on Monday uh, morning. Again, the uh, uh, snow rain line is way far south, so this would all be s snow falling at that time. And then if we move this up a little bit further, we see we get a break uh, in the snow um, about, uh, let me get the time, about 1 p.m. on Monday. Uh, the moisture pulls out for a bit. And then what we have, when we get to about... Um, about 10 p.m. on Monday, our 5400 line is starting to move north across our uh, our area. We have this big low down here with a lot of moisture in it heading our way. But if you watch as I move this forward, <clears throat> you're going to see the 5400 line uh, get it very close uh, to D.C. And then D.C. is south of that line, uh, which means that at that point, it's going to be a winter mix or all rain. And then as we uh, uh, do this uh, on through, we get quite a bit of rain, a lot of, uh, a lot of rain uh, through uh, late Tuesday. But, but the uh, rain snow line is still pretty, we're pretty far south of that rain snow line. But then as we get into the um, uh, a late, uh, uh, actually it's early Wednesday, I guess it is. Yeah, it's, this is actually... Um, uh, 7 p.m. on Tuesday, that 5400 line starts moving uh, south again across our area, and then the um, uh, the uh, rain ends up with a, a burst of snow uh, at about let me see about uh, uh, 10 p.m. on Tuesday, uh, and then the temperature drops dramatically. If you look at after we go past this, the 5400 line continues to pull uh, much, much further south, and we're in all Arctic air. So that's really what we're talking about, is that, uh, you know, we, we're going to get uh, quite a bit of rain uh, early Tuesday, and then the temperature's going to drop, and it's all going to freeze. Uh, so, you know, those are the things you need to keep in mind uh, uh, right now, still fairly low confidence about exactly how this uh, is going to play out. <clears throat> but I can almost guarantee you at this point that we're going to have a messy commute uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and probably Wednesday morning. Okay, I'll wrap it up there. And if you have any uh, uh, questions, just give me a tweet at Pat Penn, that's P-A-T-P-E-N-D, and I'll try and answer them. And I probably am not going to do uh, another uh, uh, winter weather uh, update until uh, uh, probably tomorrow, maybe tomorrow afternoon, if, if nothing uh, uh, changes with the uh, uh, morning uh, model runs. Okay, thanks a lot.